Hi everyone, this is Miss Cruz and I'm coming to you today to read The Wish Tree. It is written by Kyle McClare and illustrated by Chris Turnham. Charles wanted to find a wish tree. His brother said, there is no such thing. His sister said, there is no such thing. But Charles said, what do you think, Boggin? And Boggin thought, surely there was such a thing. So this right here is a toboggan. It's like a sled that you use in the snow. In this story, his name is Boggin. So the next morning, Charles and Boggin set forth. His brother said, bring a map. His sister said, don't forget a compass. But Charles and Boggin were already well on their way into the woods. la di da di da di sang Charles, whoosh, sang Boggin. They had the whole day ahead of them, the whole day to find the wish tree. Do you think they're going to find the wish tree? I guess we're going to find out. Up, up to the top of the hill they climbed, and down, down to a frosty meadow they slid. Where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. Charles and Boggin did not see the wish tree, but they did see. What do you predict they're about to see? Squirrel, who was puzzling over how to get some hazelnuts in his home. Hold on tight. la di da di da di da di day saying Charles, wish saying Boggin. So long, Squirrel. So he helped Squirrel. Very nice of him. Slow, slow through the snow they went, and hush, hush, past Bear's Den they crept. Crept is when you kind of walk, sneaky, not to be noticed. Where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. They did not see a wish tree anywhere, but they did see. What are you predicting they're about to see next? Beaver who was busy gathering birch wood to bring to his lodge. Let's go, la di da di da di day, sang Charles. Wish, sang Boggin. Bye-bye, beaver. Waving bye to beaver. The birch wood where they made their lodge, their home. Slide, glide across the ice they slipped, past a few logs and around a bend. Where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. The witch tree was nowhere to be found, but they did find. Wonder what they're about to find. Fox! They found Fox! Who was late getting berries to her burrow. Load them up! La di da di da di, sang Charles. Whoosh! sang Boggin. Keep warm, Fox. There's his burrow, is underneath the ground, their home. Now they had less than half the day ahead of them. Less than half the day to find the wish tree. Oh no, they might not find it. We may need to move a little faster, Boggin, said Charles. Look, he kind of looks worried, right? Charles and Boggin were moving very slowly now. Their shadows were growing longer. The whole day was almost behind them. Boggin, Charles said, I am tired. I cannot search any longer. Oh, he looks sad. A little disappointed too, right? Shh, whispered Boggin. Look at the animals. When Charles awoke it was snowing it was snowing on squirrel and it was snowing on beaver and it was snowing on fox and it was snowing on everyone for a moment charles could not see through the falling snow but then he said oh look what do you predict he is looking at turn and talk to your friend family member at home and tell them I predict Charles is looking at okay pause and make your predictions 
All right, let's finish. See, Boggin, said Charles, just as we thought. And Boggin said, wish. Charles wrote, wrote his wish on a piece of paper and tied it around a branch of the wish tree. Kind of looks like a white Christmas tree, huh? The snow was falling more gently now. The animals had prepared a night feast. With hazelnut souffle, a pot of birch tea, and biscuits made of berries. Charles and Boggin celebrated with their friends until it was time to be on their way. The moon was glowing brightly. La di da di da di sang Charles. Wish sang Boggin all the way home. So today Miss Cruz wants you to write what you would wish for if you found a wishing tree. Okay? And I don't want you to say that you wish for a million more wishes. I want you to really think about something you wish for. Okay? And I also want to see if you can put this story in sequencing order. From the first thing that happened in the story to the last thing that happened in the story. Who did Charles and Boggin see first? Next, then, and last. Okay? I hope you have a great day and I can tell you my wish that I would put on my wish tree. I wish that we could go back to school so I could see you guys again. I really do miss you and I hope you enjoyed this story. Have a great day.